Hi there, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make the pop through accordion fold card. This was one of three cards that I designed with the Bonanza Buddy stamp set. This stamp set is in the January through June 2020 Stampin' Up! mini catalog, and there's only about two weeks left to get this set. It is going to retire and will not carry over into the new catalog. So if you like the designer paper or the bundle, you definitely wanna make sure that you get this now before June 2nd, because it will no longer be available after that. The stamp set includes cute little critters like a koala, a toucan, and a lion, as well as birthday greetings and other accessories. You can make a party hat or an ice cream cone. These can be presents or you can use this and make a candle. The designer paper is so pretty. I've used them on my cards here. When I say pretty, I really mean bright and cheerful. I picked my color scheme for these cards from the designer paper. So I'm using Bermuda Bay, Terracotta Tile, and Mango Melody. And even though I'm not using the paper today, Day on this card that I'm going to show you, I still used the same bright and cheery cards. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble this card. I've done the stamping ahead of time, so I'm going to just sort of skip right to how to put this together. So the first thing I did was I took a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock, scored it in half at four and a quarter, and then I used the stitched shapes dies to cut a square out of the center of the card front. I'm going to set that aside and use it on a different project. I did cut the same size square in the terracotta, terracotta tile cardstock to use for the card front. The inside of the card is a piece of cardstock that's five inches by six inches. I scored it at two inches and four inches so that we have an accordion. I used the dies from the Bonanza Buddies bundle to die cut a banner on two columns of the Whisper White cardstock. And then I stamped some of the present images along with the bows to go on the inside. For the front of the card, I stamped the lion. Now there's two ways that you can stamp it. You can stamp and layer these images. The mane and tail are one image and then the lion is a separate image. So you can either stamp them together and line them up, or you can stamp them separately and use the dies to die cut the pieces like I did. When you die cut the pieces, you get four different pieces. You get the body and the head separately and the mane and the tail separately. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add those together. I'm using glue dots to layer the lion image. Oops, that's actually going to go on the mane. And then the mane is going to go on the body. And the tip of the lion's tail is going to go at the end of his tail. I feel like that's down there way too low. Let's just add another one so we can get closer to the neck. There we go. I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to add the lion to the card. These are the mini Stampin' Dimensionals, or the baby Stampin' Dimensionals, and they work really nice for images like this that have small areas or pieces that you want to pop up. I just realized I forgot to stamp my present. I stamped and I cut that out. I'll have to add it when I'm all done. I'm putting the lion onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock that's two and one quarter by two and one quarter inches. And I'm going to layer it onto the die cut square. Now the, the last piece for assembling the card are these two little supporter pieces. These pieces are one half inch by two inches 
scored at one inch. So they're just sort of little tabs that will help to um, lock the card in place so that it doesn't just flop around. I'll show you what I mean. Let's start first by assembling the back of the card. So I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the last panel of that Whisper White and I'm going to center it up and down so that there's even space on all three edges and then accordion fold the white cardstock. These pieces, this area will not adhere to the card. I'm going to close the card and then I'll put adhesive on the open space and apply the square. So let's use some tear and tape. Just because this is a card that opens and moves in a kind of unique way, I want to use an adhesive that is going to be sturdy and hold up to all of that movement. So I'm going to put tear and tape in the open space. And then with the card closed, I'm going to line up the die cut square in the open space and make sure that it's adhering to the layer. So when I open the card, this kind of pops through. So this is why we need a stabilizer because otherwise the card just kind of flops around. So for the stabilizer pieces, we're going to use tear and tape again. And we want them to adhere to the back. So I'm going to line up the fold line with the edge of this cardstock. This is on the back of the Whisper White. And I'm going right up to the edge of the tag that sticks out. So this is still sticky. They're attached to the back of the Whisper White. And then I'm going to, to close that accordion fold. So these are face up above and below the center tag and then close the card and give a little push to adhere the adhesive to the inside card front. Now those tabs are adhered to the inside. They're positioned correctly above and below the tag and it keeps the accordion cardstock moving the way it's supposed to and it doesn't flop around. And that is it. That's how easy this pop through accordion card is. Here's another version that I made using the Will Walrus Be Friends. That's a tongue twister. This stamp set's from the annual catalog and it's also retiring this year. So if you like these cute little walruses, you'll want to make sure to get this card as this stamp set as well before it retires. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of the pop through accordion card and that you'll give it a try at home. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping.